basically when you're building a compost bin, you don't want it too small because you do have to have enough insulation. It has to be big enough so that uh, it will uh, build up heat. Because the hotter that you have this, uh, the faster the decomposition uh, up to a certain point. Um, and if you get it too big, like much bigger than four by four, then of course the bigger you get it, the less air you're going to have going through there. And then you will have anaerobic uh, decomposition, which, you know, that's the, that's the classic uh, nightmare of the composter, to have his compost bin smell like a swamp or worse. Uh, and this, this was one thing I really screwed up at the beginning, and it's got a very simple solution to it, which is you get your compost bin and you have your compost materials, your mulch and stuff, your materials in the bin, and once every day or two you'll go out and throw in your garden waste, and then you go back into the kitchen and repeat it, you know. Well, if you do it that way, you will pretty soon have a fly factory. You will have maggots flying all over <laughs> your compost pile and uh, it's not very pleasant. Instead of spending a million on the women, you take a love it from someone else.